Advanced Accounting 5 Acquisition Accounting. This is Ken Boyd, the owner of St. Louis Test Preparation. Here's our Facebook page, our email and phone number, and this information was taken from the Advanced Accounting text from McGraw Hill. Recall from our last video, this is about one company acquiring another company, and we talked about measuring the fair value of the assets on the acquisition date. And fair value means the consideration you give up. And we also talked about the idea of issuing securities in exchange for buying the assets. And if I go through this quickly from last time, goodwill is considered the amount, the purchase price that exceeds the book value of the net tangible assets. So I flipped back over to the balance sheet that we saw last time in which Levi's Jeans acquires Hollywood Jeans. Specifically, they're buying the assets and the liabilities. So we listed the balance sheet for Hollywood, both book value and fair value. Assets, liabilities, and common stock. And you'll notice that we had a measurement of the fair value of the net assets. 620,000 assets less 110 liabilities equals 510 fair value of the net assets. And at the end of the last video, we talked about three calculations. The fair value of the consideration of what Levi is giving up in dollars to buy Hollywood, that was 610,000. The fair value of Hollywood's net assets, assets minus liabilities, 510. And then the book value, assets minus liabilities of those assets, 300000 And we had some differences. The difference between what Levi's gave up and the fair value of the assets, 610 minus 510 is 120000 and there's goodwill. And fair value minus book value was 210000 and then I added something from the prior video, since the prior video, which is the total difference. The difference between the amount of money given up by Levi's, in this case, in issuing stock, and the book value is 310000 And we're going to see that that amount is going to get posted in an adjustment as gain of sale of assets on Hollywood books. So the purpose, really, of this video is to talk about the journal entries that happen when Levi's buys Hollywood. First of all, what happens on Levi's books? They're going to have an expense, and they're going to pay cash for the legal and appraisal fees related to the acquisition. That's going to get expenses incurred. They're going to have some. Uh, they're going to pay cash and have some deferred stock issue costs that are going to be dealt with in a transaction below. So they're going to record an entry for the cost of issuing the stock. They've got legal and appraisal fees they expense, they've got stock issue costs on this line. We then are going to make an entry to record the acquisition of the assets and liabilities on the date of the combination, on the date the deal closes. So, we have all these assets that we bought, we have the current liabilities and the common stock, and you'll notice there's the debit that we set up as a liability because until we pay it in cash we've got a liability for those stock issue costs and when we write the check for the cash that stock issue cost credit gets debited and goes away and you'll notice that I highlighted something here the additional paid in capital line because if we take all the assets that we bought and subtract the liabilities and the common stock and the deferred part deferred stock issue costs, whatever is left, the plug figure, if you will, to make the entry balance is additional paid in capital, 485000 in this case. Those are the entries that Levi is going to put on their books. Well, what about Hollywood? Hollywood is really in the process of removing assets from their books because now they are owned by Levi's. So here is the example of what happens on Hollywood books. 
Levi is going to issue stock, so we, t we set up an account called Investment in Levi Stock because Hollywood, sure, Hollywood owners are going to get Levi Stock in exchange for giving up ownership. 610000 That was that fair value of the consideration that we saw right here. All of these entries are removing the book value of the current liabilities and the accumulated depreciation by debiting, removing all the assets by crediting, and then there's that gain on sale of assets to make the debits and the credits balance, which is the fair value of the consideration minus the book value, which is the amount that we found right over here. What did you give up? In this case, by issuing stock, less the book value of the assets. That difference, this amount here, appears as a credit, gain on sale of assets, to make the whole entry balance. And in a description here, it says to record the sale of assets to Levi's, removing the assets and the liabilities from Levi's books, from Hollywood's books, excuse me, the company that's being acquired. So, so far in this entry, we saw we dealt with assets and liabilities. The second entry deals with the equity section of Hollywood's books. So here, we're taking common stock, additional paid-in capital, and retained earnings off the books. We are reversing out that gain on sale of assets. So that goes to zero. And we're also removing that investment and Levi stock. It was a debit above and now it's a credit. So now we have a balanced entry. And the entry here says to record the distribution of Levi's common stock and we're removing the equity balances from the balance from Hollywood's books. So the Hollywood section here deals with basically taking everything off of Hollywood's books because now they're going to appear on Levi's books. That is the end of Advanced Accounting 5. You'll see a three-hour course in three one-hour sessions on GoToMeeting, Central Topics in Management Accounting that you can participate in. Our YouTube channel, Ken Boyd STL, all one word. You can register for individual tutoring and live chat sessions on a one-on-one -on -one or a small group basis, stltest.net. We are also on Skype. Here's our email address and our phone number. Thanks very much, and we will see you next time.